You are looking at a representative group of more than three quarters of a million newspaper boys working in our nation today. Young businessmen who have yearly earnings of over $200 million and who deliver papers to the doors of over 46 million homes every single day of the week. Today, some 800 of these ambitious youngsters have gathered to be here in Hollywood, California, just to hear this ex-newspaper boy ask, Would you like to be newspaper boy king for a day? From the world's most glamorous district circulation office, the Moulin Rouge in Hollywood, the National Broadcasting Company presents a special newspaper boy king for a day show starring Jack Bailey. Thank you very much, and welcome to what we all hope will become an annual affair on Queen for a Day. And ladies and gentlemen of our nation, if you're worried about the country, I wish you could all be here with us today and have read the cards turned in by these wonderful young men of our country. The Moulin Rouge is filled to the brim with newspaper boys in honor of the 20th annual observance of National Newspaper Boy Day coming up October the 17th. This day was started back in 1939 by the International Circulation Managers Association and has grown into quite a yearly event. In fact, we're pleased to have the general manager of ICMA with us today, uh, Mr. Jack Estes, as well as the man who originated National Newspaper Week, Mr. Johnny Long, representing the California Publishers Association. And gentlemen, will you be kind enough to stand up so we can all see you and give you a welcome to our newspaper king for a day. Give it to them, boys. There they are. Thank you very much, gentlemen. And speaking of guests, speaking of guests, fellas, we are really honored because I see a very, very familiar face sitting at our honored table. Ladies and gentlemen, the governor of the state of California, the Honorable Edmund G. Brown. you, Governor, what an honor it is to have you, and we're delighted to have you with us. And what, what brings you here, Governor Brown? We're extremely honored. Well, I'm, I'm here because I wanted to honor all of these very, very fine young men. Right. I carried a newspaper route myself a long time ago, and I hope they all grow up to be governors, every one of them. Well, if they can be as good a one as you are, we're lucky. Thank you. Thank you very much, Governor Brown. It's wonderful of you to be here. We appreciate it. we got to find out who the king is going to be, and we have had some time today, ladies and gentlemen. We've read all these cards, and I'd like to repeat again, if you think our country's in trouble, you should know what these young men have written out of their... Where is he? Oh, here he is over here. Hello, Mike! Hi. Mike, how do you say your last name? Rohaley. Rohaley, like Frijole. Where are you from? Pennsylvania. You, you carry the papers back in Pennsylvania? No, sir. Where, what paper do you carry? Citizen News. Well, good for you, right here in Hollywood, huh? Yes, sir. How long have you been out here from Pennsylvania? You and your folks move out here? Yes, about ten years. How about brothers and sisters? You got any? I have one sister. One sister and no brother? No. What's your daddy do, Michael? Mommy um, works for Water and Power. Huh? He works for Water and Power. Well, he works for the Water and Power. Well, you got plenty of Water and Power at your house. What would you like if you're our newspaper boy king? What would you really like? I'd like some furniture for our house. Now, why do you want that special? You've got a mighty good reason for that. When I was six years old, I had polio, and my mother had to go to work. What'd she do? Um, she went to the LeVay Vizier Company. Uh-huh. And, and she had to go to work, and I'd like some furniture, because she was never bu able to buy anything for herself. Because the fact that you had polio when you were a youngster, how old were you when you had it? I'm six years old. You were six years old. Well, you certainly got over it. Did uh, anything uh, wrong with you? You were walking around here real neat. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, I just still have a little bit of trouble with my throat once in a while. You have to take it kind of easy. Was it in your throat or yeah. you got it the worst? Well, by golly, you're talking good, Michael. And Mother had to go to work to kind of pull you through, and she did some job. Look at the face on you. And now you, as a wonderful little boy like you are, would like to return some furniture so Mother can live a lot easier and happier, huh? Yes, sir. There's nothing in the world wrong with it. And if you're elected our king, Mike, Ma's going to get a new set to you or two, okay? 
Okay. If you ever lose that smile, you're a sweetheart. Goodbye, Michael. Good luck to you. There he is. That's the first candidate. And a real nice boy he was. There's another. Boy, these kids, aren't they something? Oh, listen to this. We have many plans in store for the newspaper boy elected our king today, and those plans include a very special day in Hollywood as our guest. <laughs> He'll have his own chauffeur in a uniform to drive him everywhere in our gold Cadillac limousine. Now, we're going to arrange for the king to have lunch with one of television's greatest Western stars, Robert Horton, co-star of NBC's dramatic Wagon Train series, but not lunch in a restaurant, you know. He's going to eat with old Bob Horton right on the Wagon Train sets and watch them film their latest episode. After this, our king will be driven out to the Magic Kingdom Disneyland, and he'll see it from top to bottom. As a matter of fact, it sort of seems to me that our king ought to have some company when he goes to Disneyland. And I'll tell you what, uh, this will come as a big shock to my accountant, my wife Carol, who keeps the money. But I'd like to make it my personal business to see that not just one fellow goes out with the king, but that all 800 of you newspaper boys go to Disneyland with our king on me. Go out there and have a folks, and I have the voting right now. Remember, fellas, please do not whistle or shout. Simply applaud, and here we go as fast as we can. Number one was Michael Rohilly. He would like furniture for his parents because his mother had to work when he was a kid. He had polio, and he would like to return some furniture. Your applause for candidate number one. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Number two was David Rohner. David Rohner is one of 16 children. He would like a freezer, food, and a sewing machine for his mother. Number two. Number three, Bill Yankee would like to finish the back room at their house so that he can get his brother out here from Kentucky. He lost his mother. He lives in the home. Now they want to get the family together. Number three. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Number four, Mr. Jeff Woodward. Mr. Woodward would like to have a stove and some clothes, and he would like to have uh, his tuition to the Catholic high school paid because he'd like to become a priest. Number four. Hollywood Citizen News. He's going to take your picture. That's Ralph Weedman, and it'll be in the Citizen News. Uh, King for a day is happy to make your wish come true. We're going to furnish that back room from top to bottom for you, King Bill, and you'll see what we have for that room in just a couple of minutes. But one item will come all the way from the east, for we're going to bring your brother here from Kentucky. The very second that room is ready, we're going to get him out here from Kentucky. Now, Your Majesty, King Bill, we've granted your wish, and now it's time for gifts, and boy, they're especially chosen for you. Well, Your Majesty, you don't have to take them home with you today. We'll have them delivered to your home by Lion Van Lines, our official movers. And you've got to do some homework. That's going to make it a lot easier. A complete set of the Encyclopedia Britannica, the reference library of the world, for nearly 200 years. 4,000 authorities worked together to make this the most complete reference source anywhere. Uh, you're going to be able to keep up with all the developments in outer space, Your Majesty, these days with this great K-4 Deluxe Telescope by SpaceX Instrument Company of Potsdam, Pennsylvania. You'll see the man-made satellites in all the galaxies of outer space with your SpaceX K-4 Telescope. Now, King Bill, you can see any old television show you want to watch because you'll have your very own set in this compact portable TV set. It's all yours. There's a built-in antenna and a handy carrying handle. And Your Majesty, we're going to make you the best-dressed newspaper boy in the nation with this complete wardrobe from Mike Daroff of H. Daroff & Sons, makers of the famous Botany 500 line. Included, you'll find a sport coat, two pairs of matching slacks, two sweaters, wash and wear slacks for school or work, a warm winter jacket, dress and sport shirts, and a smartly cut new suit. And they'll be fitted by experts at any of the many Harrison Frank stores. King Bill, 
Take a look at this. This is a completely furnished room that we have for you. And watch this. Your furniture is a selection of pieces from the elegant homestead collection by fashion trend of the Johnson Carper Furniture Company. Besides the bed, you'll have plenty of drawer space and the various chests we're going to give you. You'll have your own desk and chair plus an unusual bachelor cabinet. Each piece has been carefully hand rubbed and is made of the finest wood. And since you're a young businessman, we think you ought to have your own phone. Well, you will. And you'll have it in your choice of colors as well. And what's more, we'll pay your phone bill for the next full year. Now, that takes care of the inside of your house, uh, King Bill. But no boy stays in his room all the time. So let's make sure you enjoy the outdoors just as much by presenting you with some camping gear. Now, you're going to be set for camping no matter what the weather is with this. You'll have a tent and a full assortment of Coleman camping units with a big two-burner Coleman stove, a Coleman gas lantern that will light a hundred-foot circle, a cooler, jug, and saddle stools, just the thing for fishing, or you can use it for a duck blind. That whole outfit is your... Don't jump, Bill. Hold on. And throat. camping means fishing, so we're going to fix you up with a stock of famous Wright and McGill fishing gear. You'll have spinning rods and reels, plus an assortment of spinners, leaders, and hooks, all by Wright and McGill of Denver. Bill, hold on to your crown. You can't find the big fish without a boat, so you'll do your fishing from the comfort of this performer, T-Bird, 14 special that sells for Look at that boat! That's all yours! How do you like that, Bill? This kid's gonna jump right over the throne. Now, this uh, performer, T-Bird, 14 special is available in 14 to 18 foot lengths. Performer offers 14 new boats of refreshingly new models in runabouts and cruisers. In the world of boating, Performer is the hottest boat for 1960 family fun, and this one is all yours, King Bill. And you'll have plenty of power for your boat with this 18-horsepower 1960 Evinrude fast twin outboard motor. It's light in weight, it has a full gear shift, the sound steel power head is quiet, and its easematic feature makes it easy to start. It's one of the finest from Evinrude motors of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now, Your Majesty... Your wish has been granted, all these gifts are yours, but we're not through yet. In a moment, we'll add still another surprise. Now, Your Majesty King Bill, uh, here's a surprise we promised you. Got here a little envelope, and there are two tickets in here for you. You're going to take a little trip. Goodbye, but you're not going back to Kentucky. Now, we know you're in school right now, so we've scheduled this trip for next summer. Your companion on this trip, uh, that's my sheet there, will be the sports and field editor of your newspaper, and come next August, the two of you will board a Pan American Airways jet clipper ship. With Pan American, you'll be flying with the world's most experienced airline, and you'll enjoy a quiet, smooth ride all the way, reaching your destination in a matter of hours. What is your destination? My George, Your Majesty, you and your buddy are going to attend the 1960 Olympic Games in Rome, Italy. How do you like that? Here's your ticket. 